Well, hello there. This is Mrs. Sharp, and I had some requests for practice problems on 1.9 and 1.10. 1.9 being predominantly concerned with uh, working with numbers in scientific notation, and 1.10 concerned with using sig figs properly. So here we go. I've got some practice problems for you. I live to serve. So on this first page, um, what I would probably do is pause right now and just go ahead and try to get an answer for these four in terms of how many sig figs you think there are, then pause it, and then I'm going to tell you the answers and how I got there. So number one, the answer is four, four sig figs. The three and the five count. These zeros are at the end of the number because they come after the last digit that's not zero. So the end is anything after five. So those zeros are at the end, and there's a decimal, so therefore they count as sig figs. Okay, number two, the answer is five sig figs. These zeros are considered at the beginning of the number because they precede the first non-zero number, which in this case is four. So none of these zeros count. The four and the six and the nine count. This zero is between two non-zero numbers, so those zeros always count, and this nine counts. That's how we get five. Number three, your answer is three sig figs. Numbers in scientific notation, we can ignore the exponent, power of 10, and just look at the coefficient. The one, the seven count, the zero at the end, there's a decimal, so it also counts. Finally, this last one has only two sig figs, that's because the four and the two count. These zeros at the end, there's no decimal place. Therefore, they do not count. Let's do the same thing on this page, except for now you're going to take the value and round to only two sig figs. So go ahead and try that, and then you can check your answers with what I put on the screen. Number one, your answer should be 2.6 grams. Your first sig fig and your second sig fig are here. However, this value is between 2.5 and 2.6. This portion of the number tells me that it's closer to 2.6 with only two sig figs. Number two, your answer should be 4,300 milliseconds. These two zeros do not count as sig figs with the lack of a decimal place. So this number is between 4,200 and 4,300. This 87 portion makes it closer to 4,300. Number three, your answer should be 0 .00016. Since none of these zeros are significant, we start counting here with the one. Remember, they're at the beginning of the number, so they don't count. And then five, because the next digit is a six, this number is actually closer to 0 .00016. One, six, and I didn't put a unit on that. Let's call it liters. Let's do some more. Yay! Now we're writing in scientific notation, so throwing a little 1.9 action in there to three sig figs. So here we go. This number, 1.23 times 10 to the what? Well, we want these two numbers to equal each other, so I'm going to have to multiply 1.23 two, three times 10 a bunch of times to get it to this number. So 1.23, there's an invisible decimal place there. I would have to multiply 1.23 by 10, one, two, three, four, five times to make it this big number. 1.23 is three sig figs, so none of these zeros would be included in my representation there. Number two. This number would be 7.894 times 10 to the, well in this case, 7.894 is much bigger than the original number. So I'm going to have to divide by 10 a bunch of times, which tells me I'm going to have a negative exponent. So divide by 10 once, twice, three times, making this a negative 3. However, right now I have 1, 2, 3, 4 sig figs, so I can't have this last one. So this number is between 7.89 and 7.90. Since this is 4, it's really closer to 7.89. So that is my answer, 3. 
Number three, 3.1598 times 10 to the what? Well, 3.15 is much smaller than 315.98, which tells me I need to multiply this number by 10 so my exponent will be positive. Looks like I need to multiply it by 10 one, two times. And with only three sig figs, one, two, three, this number is between 3.15 and 3.16 a lot closer to 3.16. So we have 3.16 times 10 to the 2 millimoles. Last one, scientific notation, 5.12 times 10 to the, in this case 5.12 is much bigger than the original number, so we're going to have to divide by 10, which makes that a negative exponent. So I'm going to have to divide by 10 just once. So it'll be 5.12 times 10 to the negative 1. Since I don't really have any zeros to worry about in there, I already have three sig figs, so I'm good. One more. Perform the following calculations observing the rules of sig figs in your answer. So here we go. Go ahead and try these and then pause, or pause while you try them, and then unpause when you're ready to hear the answers. In number one, I'm adding. So when I'm adding or subtracting, I need to count decimal places for my answer because my answer can only have as many decimal places as the number with the least amount of decimal places. So here I have three, here I have zero, so the least number of decimal places is zero. So I'm gonna go ahead and punch this in my calculator, 1.498 plus two. That gives me 3.498. I guess I could have done that one in my head and I get zero decimal places in my answer. So in other words, I am rounding this to the nearest whole number, which 498 is closer to three than four. So my answer is three meters. That didn't come out very well, there you go, three meters. I'm gonna apply the same rule for number three. So here I have three, here I have one, so my least number is one decimal place. Punching this in my calculator, 12.900 minus 4.7 gives me 8.2 and luckily enough I get one decimal place and it came out exactly to 8.2 so I can just keep it. Now for number two, I'm going to use a different color here, we are dividing now so we're going to use a different rule. In number one we are counting decimal places and numbers two and four when we multiply and divide we're counting sig figs and our answer can only have as many sig figs as the value with the least number of sig figs. So number two, the first value here, 3.890 grams, that has four sig figs because the zero counts. It's at the end and there's a decimal. And 1.29 milliliters has three. So my answer can only have three sig figs. So I'm punching in my calculator. Three point eight nine divided by one point two nine. I am getting 3.0155, blah, blah, blah. Okay, grams per milliliter, but I'm not writing any of those down because I know I only get three sig figs anyway. So one, two, three. Is this closer to 3.01 or 3.02? The answer is 3.02 because of this five, five. So my answer is 3.02 grams per milliliter. All right, for my last one, this number here has only one sig fig. One is the least number of sig figs you can ever have, so that's gonna be my lowest. This one has two, just in case you were wondering, um, but my least number is one, so my answer can only have one. And I'm gonna punch in my calculator, 0 0.005 times 0.2 gives me 0 0.0 zero, one. I only get one sig fig. None of these zeros count because they're at the beginning. This is my only sig fig, so that's the only one I get. I didn't have anything behind there, so I'm good. The unit here would be a meter times a meter, which is a meter squared. So there's some practice problems for you. I hope that helped, and I will see you very soon. Have a great day. See ya.